So whether you've just swapped a cam, uh, are suffering from a noisy valve train, or just looking to perform a major engine service, checking valve clearances is a must. And thankfully, you're not going to need much to check and adjust them. In fact, apart from a few basic tools, the only thing you're really going to need is a decent set of feeler gauges, like these. Let's get to it. So before you get started, it's important to know what the correct valve clearances are for your engine. Uh, so you'll need to consult your workshop manual for that information. Uh, and bear in mind that the inlet and exhaust clearance will most likely be different. Uh, and it's also worth checking whether the manual suggests checking the clearances when the engine is hot or cold. And if that wasn't enough, if you've got a non-standard cam in the engine, like this one, you may want to check the cam manufacturer doesn't specify its own settings. Uh, so with that in mind, I did a little bit of reading up, and this particular cam needs an inlet clearance of 0.2 and an exhaust clearance of 0.25. Now that's in millimetres, uh, and as it happens, that is the same as standard. Now find the appropriate size feeler gauge in your set, uh, and don't be afraid to add them together if you haven't got the exact size. So here I have my 0.2 inlet clearance, and then by combining these two, I have my 0.25 exhaust clearance and now I'm ready to begin checking them. So first the rocker cover needs to come off. Uh, this is held on by 10 bolts, so undo these and then lift the cover out of the way. Okay, number one cylinder seems like a sensible place to start, so let's go for that. Uh, now to set these clearances correctly, number one cylinder needs to be at the top of its compression stroke where both valves are closed. Uh, and the easiest way to achieve this is to simply rotate the engine by hand until the cam lobes for cylinder number one are both pointing up. So use a 19mm spanner on the crank pulley to turn the engine over. Like so. Now the valves on number one cylinder are off cam and the clearances can be set. Okay, so let's start with the inlet valve and bear in mind that I've just fitted this cam so I know for a fact that all my clearances need adjustment. But to simply check yours, insert the appropriate feeler gauge between the cam and the follower. And if the clearance is correct, you should feel slight resistance as you move it back and forth. Uh, but if you find it difficult to get the feeler in, or you can't get it in at all, then your clearance is too tight. Uh, and if you find the feeler is just loosely flopping around in there, then your clearance is too big. And in either case, it needs adjustment. And to do so, simply slacken off the 19mm lock nut on the ball stud. Then raise all over the ball stud with a 15mm spanner until you've obtained the correct clearance. And I've just gone a little bit too far there and it's grabbed the feeler, so it just needs backing off a little bit. There, now that feels pretty good. And once you're happy with the clearance, you can tighten down the lock nut. And once you've tightened down the lock nut, double check your clearance, because I always find when I tighten down the lock nut, it throws the clearance out ever so slightly. Uh, I don't know why, it's probably a simple lack of technique, but it always takes me a couple of goes to get it right. Which is there, cool, now that's the inlet valve done, so we can move on to the exhaust. Uh, now don't forget the clearance is slightly different here, so don't forget to adjust your feeler gauge. Uh, but apart from that, it's basically the same procedure. Slacken the lock nut. Then raise or lower the ball stud until you've got the correct clearance. Then nip up the lock nut. Then double check your clearance. Excellent. And that's it for number one cylinder. All right, now rotate the engine by hand to set the next cylinder's clearances. Uh, and if you know the firing cycle for the engine, that's going to be a pretty good indication as to which one's coming around next. So for example, on this engine, it's one, three, four, two. Uh, so I know number three cylinder is the logical choice to do next.
Right now, hold it there because number three cylinder is off cam and those clearances can be set. And the process from here on out is pretty much the same for as many cylinders as you have. So just keep going until you've set all your clearances. Right, that's the last one uh, done. So refit the rocker cover and this thing should be ready to run. Uh, now, if you've fitted a new cam like this, I'd recommend rechecking your clearances after a couple of hundred miles or so, just to give everything a chance to bed in. But for now, job done. You should be good to go. See you next time.